Welcome back to Hack Code. In this video, we are tackling an essential problem for coding interviews, encode and decode strings from lead code. So this is actually a lead code premium question. Since I don't have a lead code premium, I will be solving this question using lead code. So the question is exactly the same, don't worry about it. So this problem is great for learning string manipulation and serialization techniques. So let's break down the problem step by step. So sit back, relax and let's dive in. So what is the problem statement given? Design an algorithm to encode a list of strings to string. The encoded string is then sent over the network and is decoded back to the original list of strings. Sounds interesting, right? So basically it deals with the encoding and decoding of the strings. So firstly, we would be having it as a list of strings format, which would be encoded to a string and this string is passed to another method called decode. And this method will decode this back to the list of strings. Okay. So please implement encode and decode. Okay. This is what we have to implement. So here the info given is because the string may contain any of the 256 legal ASCII characters, your algorithm must be able to handle any character that may appear. Do not rely on any libraries. The purpose of this problem is to implement the encode and decode algorithms on your own. So basically we should not rely on any of the libraries we have. So we should write the algorithm on our own. So let's look into examples. So here exactly whatever we have input is output. So basically in between this, we have some steps happening, encoding and decoding. So one way of encoding they mentioned here is to use colon and semicolon. Okay. So we have to concatenate all the strings using this character colon and semicolon. So that's what they given, but this won't gonna work. I'll show you why. Okay. So basically here we converting this uh, list into a encoded string. Okay. And this encoded string is passed to a decode method. Then the decode method would give us back this original list of strings. Okay. That's what the intention is. Same in example two, we say colon s. So this what we have as input and then the output is same. So explanation is same thing. They just use the separator and then they join all the strings we have. Okay. This is how they encode it. And then that would be taken care of decode method. So here uh, we can see that the company is like Google. So that means that this question is appeared in Google. So yeah, so let's solve this. So let's look into boilerplate code guys. So here we have the two methods encode and decode. This encode method takes a parameters strs, which is a list of strings. Okay. And this returns what? This encodes a list of strings to a single string. So basically this returns a string. Okay. And this decode method takes a string. So str is a string. And what does it return? Decodes a single string at a list of strings. So basically it returns a list of strings. Okay. So before diving into the approaches, I want you to know that the approach which they mentioned here won't be working for us. Because let's take the case where we have like this. So let's say if the input is like this. So if we have this as a special input, then even if you use the delimiter like colon and semicolon, it won't work, right? So let's see that in action firstly. So firstly, we can use the dot join method from list and then can concatenate all these strings using the delimiter we have. This is the delimiter we're using. So this is what this colon, semicolon, and we just use pass the join. And this is what it takes strings. Okay, and we have to return it. So that's why you do return. Okay, and then in here, what we have to do, we have to return this uh, basically split string, right? So we are joining all the string based on this delimiter, and we can use the split for that. So here we can just take str of split, this one. But also we have to take care that if uh, string is null. So for that reason, we mention if string else. We can just return a empty list. Okay. This is the ternary operator we have in Python. Okay. So basically this would be written if string is existing. That means that if string is not null, if string is null, we return an empty list. Okay. So here, what we are doing above, we're just joining all this, uh, strings in the list using this delimiter. So if you didn't get that method, let's see that in action. Okay. Let's say we have the list like this one, one, two, and then we have to concatenate based on our delimiter. The delimiter is what here? This one, right? Like colon, semicolon. So we just use dot join method from list we have. So we just send the list. Okay. So this would return a string. Okay. So now what we are doing, we are just uploading a dot split on this string. So string dot split would return as what? List, right? So that's why we're just splitting it on the delimiter we have. The delimiter is colon, semicolon. Now we'll get what? List of strings back. That's what we're doing there. Okay. So let me try running this. So this accepted for this cases, but if you submit this, it won't be accepted because there would be a special cases in the input. Let's see that in action. See here, the answer is not accepted because uh, we have this lint 
colon semicolon here we have our delimiter here only so that's why when we use this delimiter it won't be working so we have to think of another approach so let's think of another approach guys so here our approach is going to be a length and delimiter encoding okay so what is this actually so here the intuition is basically this approach involves encoding each string by prefixing its length followed by a special delimiter hashtag so we will be using a hashtag before that we will be using the length so let's say we have the string will be encoding into like this so basically here we prepend each thing with length and hashtag so for each string we do that okay so we get the length of string and we append the hashtag and then we append the original string that's what we're doing that's all next is this way when decoding we can easily extract the length of each string which tells us exactly how many characters to read next makes sense right so we can easily extract the string after that while decoding so this ensures even if the string contains a special characters like hashtag they don't interfere with the decoding process so like we saw right like in previous approach we took some delimiter but that delimiter itself was given in the string so that was causing the discrepancies while decoding so we don't face that because uh, we are using this length and special character and string here so that's the delimiter we have okay so that's the differentiation we have from the previous approach so this would work basically uh, let's take this string list as i am iron man now here is how encoding works basically what we are doing is like we get the first string i so now length of i is what one so we encode it as one hashtag i similarly second string is what am so length of am is two and we encode it as what two hashtag am so basically we are preparing it with length and hashtag similarly for third string iron man the length is what seven so it is seven hashtag iron man so now what does the final encoded version looks like so basically we have to append all these strings right now we'll get as one hashtag i two hashtag am seven hashtag iron man so basically this is how the encoded string looks like okay so now while decoding this is a very simple process okay so to decode this what we can use we can use the length before each hashtag to extract the individual strings so we know till how much far we have to slice using this length of string we have so for example the first substring starts with one hashtag so the first word is i so basically after this hashtag we extract one character that's what we're doing it so it is easy while decoding so next the second starts with two hashtag so the second word is am so basically after this hashtag extracting two characters and the third starts with seven hashtags so the third word is iron man so basically we are extracting seven characters there so we know how much for we have to go after the hashtag based on the length we have that's the idea guys very simple so hence decoding this gives us the original list back as i am iron man so that's what it is so the algorithm is what just we discussed it's just like in a steps we have so iterate over each string in the list and encode it in the format length of string hashtag string okay for example the list is given as mint code like here we have special characters i'm just showing is an example here this becomes what four hashtag mint six hashtag code and here we have hashtag given within the string itself but that won't be interfering with our decoding process because we have the length defined here okay and the next step is to decode so start at the beginning of the encoded string and look for the delimiter hashtag the part before the hashtag tells us the length of the next string okay so we just discussed the same thing it is and then we slice out the string based on its length and repeat the process until all strings are decoded basically like we have to do this in a loop that's what it says and step four is same continue this process until the entire encoded string has been processed and return the list of decoded strings so basically this is what we just discussed but it's in a step format that's all so now let's look into the code so firstly in encode method what we have so we just initialize the result variable here result is what here string because we have to return the string right so that's why we initialize to empty string so now we are iterating through the strings we have this is the list of strings right so we iterate into the string using for loop so for word in strings what we are doing we're getting the length of the word and converting back into string plus hashtag plus word so basically this converts into a one hashtag i for i so that's how the format we are getting it here at the end what we are doing we're getting the result so basically result will be what this concatenated string okay now coming to decode method so decode method it should return what list of strings that's why we install the result to be a empty list okay and then uh, we start with the i is equals to zero because like we have to iterate through the indices right here so that's why we want one index i so firstly here uh, we have to iterate till i less than length of s so i'll tell you this in a dry run format and then we discuss here okay so that would give you a clear idea so firstly guys we have i is equals to zero next what we have so we just initializing j is equals to i 
because like this j is what like will help us decode each word we have this i is running along the original length of string okay this j is for uh, getting the particular word okay so we instance j is equals to i initially so we have to get this j to hashtag so that we will get the length of the string so what we doing so we having another while loop here where s of j not equal to hashtag will increment the j so since like uh, first i is equal to 0 j is equal to 0 now this j is not equal to hashtag we just increment it so now what the j becomes j becomes one guys since it is a hashtag now it helps us to extract the length of the string right so how can we extract the length of string we can just slice between these two right so how do we slice it so basically uh, we slice it from i to j right this is exclusive range that means that our slicing would get only the zeroth character zeroth character is what here one so this one is what the length of the string i okay so here now we have to slice after the hashtag to get the i so how do we do that so basically uh, we have to point like s of j plus one why because j is now pointing at hashtag right so we have to point plus one so that we'll get to the i and then till what we have so from i to what we have we have to go till length of the word so word length we stored here some variable so this would be stored in some variable okay let's name that variable as w so now what we are going till this length so that is s of j plus one is what j is now what one so j plus one is two now two plus here also like j plus one is two right and plus uh, w is what one here one is the this one word length right so now we are slicing from two to three this 3 is exclusive, right? So that's why we get only S of 2 here. S of 2 is what? I. So we will be getting our only I character here. So that's that means that we are able to extract one word. Now we have to repeat this for the next thing. So to repeat this for the next thing, what we have to do? We have to set our I to the latest version, right? So for that, what should be the latest I? So I should not point till here. So I should be pointing after this word. So that's why what we are doing, we are just uh, setting i is equal to j plus 1 plus word length. This means that uh, here we have j plus 1 is what? 2, right? i is equal to j plus 1 which is 2 plus word length is what? 1, so which is 3. So we are setting i is equal to 3. Now i is pointing to the this character 2. So now 2 is what here? Next character's length, right? So we repeat the same process for the next character as well. So now our i is at 2. So that means that so we have i is equals to here index what 3. So I was saying to this character not the index okay. So now i is the index 3. What we have to do similarly right we have to just assign j is equals to i and, and then we have to move this j until we reach the hashtag. j becomes what now it is 4 right because like 4 is hashtag we stop at 4. And then now we have to slice from i to j to get the length of the word so we slice from i to j so where what is i to j here 3 to 4 so 3 to 4 is what here we have this is exclusive so this like in, in slicing this is exclusive right so that's why we just get the s of 3 which is 2 right so w is equal to 2 here now what we have to do we have to slice from j plus 1 why j plus 1 because j is at the hashtag so we should not include the hashtag and we should include the next character from it so that's why now it is j plus 1 it which is 5 and from 5 till the length of the word so length of the word is 2 so now we get from 5 to 7 this 7 is exclusive so the inclusive characters are only 5 to 6 so 5 to 6 is what our am word so now we extracted am so next thing is for our iron man so how do we do that so basically uh, before do, going there we have to increment our i to the latest right so that's why we just do i is equals to j plus 1 plus word length which is now 5 plus 2 which is 7 now where is our i pointing to here 7 here the index is 7 the character is also 7 okay so now let's dive into this one so here uh, we have i is equals to 7 and we have our j is equals to i initially and then we move it until we get the hashtag but your hashtag is where only at the next character so that's why j becomes 8 right now what we have to extract the word length word length is what s of i to j and this is exclusive range that's why we get only the s of 7th character which is 7 here right so 7 is the word length now we have the word length now we just need to slice it 
so we just slice from j plus one why j plus one we discuss right because j is pointing at the hashtag so we should not include the hashtag and we have to inc include from the next character that's why j plus one and j plus one plus word length so here uh, if you see we are taking a word length but this is exclusive and that's why we will be getting only till word length minus one so that will be resolving to our valid index only don't worry about it okay so now what we having j plus one which is what nine and j plus one plus seven okay so this is what nine two this is sixteen so sixteen is uh, excluded so we get characters from nine to fifteen guys so what all we have from nine to fifteen iron man so we got our iron man as well so basically that's what we're doing it here in the code okay so here we just initializing j is equals to i and then we using the while loop to make j point until we get the hashtag after that we just extract the word length and then here uh, since this is the string we convert to integer so integer of s of i to j and then next step is what to extract the string based on its length that's what we're doing it so here we extracting s of j plus one to j plus one plus word length that's what we just discussed right now we got the string the next step is what we just need to append that to a result that's why we're doing this result dot append okay next step is what we have to move to the next string so that's why we pointing i is equals to j plus one plus word length that makes sure that we are out of this word and we'll be pointing to the new words length okay so we just discussed everything right so the same thing in code so hope you got the idea of code so what are complexes guys the time complex is o of n where n is the total number of characters in the input strings both encoding and decoding process each character once so we are processing each character only once and also uh, like since like we have to iterate all characters it is like o of n so here this is o of n and this is o of n so o of 2n is nothing but o of n only guys this is ignored constant okay space complexity is o of n additional space is needed to store the encoded and decoded strings which is proportional to the input size so let's say we have the n characters in the input so then we will be having this uh, proportional to n right so of course we will be having some like uh, word length and uh, hashtag but that would be less than our input string right so so that's why it is o of n okay so i got the code ready here let me try running this so this accepted for this two cases let me try submitting this so guys this solution is accepted for all the test cases we have so congrats guys you just mastered this technique so this is very easy right and also interesting as well hope you remember this approach and you can apply this for the similar problems and that's a wrap on solving encode and decode strings using this efficient approach if you found this background useful drop a comment below and share your thoughts don't forget to like the video spread the word to your fellow coders and hit that subscribe button for more in-depth coding tutorials also do follow on instagram for latest updates see you in the next one